Welcome, peer viewers. Today, we bring you a riveting video, delving into the life and legacy of Konstantin Konstantinovich Rupersovsky, one of the most distinguished military leaders in Soviet history. We'll be exploring his incredible journey, from his humble beginnings to his instrumental role in the Red Army's victories during World War II, and his later foray into politics. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a thrilling ride through history, as we uncover the story of this exceptional strategist, tactician, and patriot. Konstantin Konstantinovich Rokosovsky, an illustrious Soviet military luminary and political figure, was instrumental in securing several Red Army triumphs during the cataclysmic World War II. Renowned for his strategic prowess, unyielding resolve, and disciplined governance, Rokosovsky commanded the admiration of comrades and foes alike. Born amidst the quaint environs of Velikai Luki, Skov Governorate, Russian Empire, now Russia, on December 21, 1896, Young Rokosovsky was the progeny of a Polish descended railroad engineer father, Konstantin, and Russian mother, Klavdia Grigorievna Rokosovskaya. From an early age, Rokosovsky's heart was set on a military path. A mere 18 years of age, he enlisted with the Imperial Russian Army during World War I, serving valiantly as a non commissioned officer in the 5th Dragoon Regiment. In the wake of the October Revolution, Rokosovsky cast his lot with the Red Army ascending through the ranks as he fought in the ensuing Russian Civil War. Between wars, Rokosovsky's military education continued apace, as he attended both the Front's Military Academy and the Red Army's Higher Command School. Alas, his upward trajectory met a brutal halt in 1937, with his arrest and persecution under Stalin's Great Purge. Accused of anti-Soviet activities, he remained steadfast in proclaiming his innocence despite enduring excruciating interrogation and torment. Fortune favored Rokosovsky once more with the 1941 Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union. Released and reinstated, his strategic acumen and tactical expertise quickly became evident in the Red Army's defense of Moscow and the subsequent counterattack. As the war raged on, Rokosovsky's responsibilities swelled. He was entrusted with commanding larger forces, playing a cardinal role in monumental battles such as Stalingrad and Kursk. It was here that his innovative strategies and decisive command wrought pivotal Soviet victories. Rewarded with the prestigious title of Marshal of the Soviet Union in 1944, Rokosovsky emerged as one of Stalin's most trusted commanders. With the end of the war in sight, he spearheaded the first Belarusian front in the climactic offensive to seize Berlin in 1945, ultimately precipitating Nazi Germany's surrender. In the post-war era, Rokosovsky's focus shifted towards the political sphere. From 1947 to 1953, he served as the Soviet Union's defense minister, holding various high-ranking Communist Party positions. In a surprising twist, he became Poland's defense minister and marshal of Poland in 1956, contributing significantly to the modernization of the Polish People's Army. After his Polish sojourn concluded in 1959, Rokosowski returned to the Soviet Union, remaining in service until his demise on August 3, 1968. Today, his name is etched in history as one of the Soviet Union's most distinguished military leaders. Konstantin Rokosovsky's strategic genius, indomitable spirit, and unwavering loyalty to his nation were instrumental in altering the course of World War II and, by extension, the annals of history. Thank you so much for joining us on this remarkable journey through the life of Konstantin Rokosovsky. We hope you enjoyed learning about his strategic brilliance, unwavering dedication, and the pivotal role he played in turning the tide of World War II. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video insightful, and be sure to subscribe for more captivating historical content like this. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Until next time, take care and keep exploring history.